are pouring in for Congressman John Lewis, a man revered as a titan of the civil rights movement. He died yesterday. Lewis's decades-long tenure in Congress followed years of organizing civil rights protests in the South, where he marched alongside Martin Luther King, Jr. KPIX 5's John Ramos shows us how the late congressman's legacy lives on here in the Bay Area. We talk about the civil rights struggle of the 1960s in the past tense, but John Lewis was here to remind us that that march to Selma, Alabama was just a beginning, not an end. When you see something that is not right, not just, not fair, you have a moral obligation to say something, to do something. It's important to remember how young John Lewis was when he tried to lead the march across that bridge into Selma, Alabama. His close friend and colleague, Congresswoman Barbara Lee of Oakland, says his legacy will be the challenge he laid down for today's younger generation. These were children who led the fight led by uh, John Lewis at a very young age for voting rights, for civil and human rights. And so he expects these young people to continue this fight. In some ways, that was happening in East Oakland this morning. At the Feed Your City Challenge, healthy foods and protective equipment were being given to the community, courtesy of retired NBA player Ricky Davis. I take those values that my, my ancestors and you know, the people before me put in place and try to show them to the new community or to the new, the new generations. Davis, his foundation partner Tony Draper, and Grammy Award winning musician Rafael Sadiq organized the event to address the struggle East Oaklanders have in getting healthy food in their community. It's exactly the kind of moral obligation to do something that John Lewis was talking about. I really love looking at the pictures and seeing him when he was older and when he was younger and seeing the journey that he took. And that's the journey that we all need to be on. But we, we have to take that journey, what they did, we have to take it further. It certainly feels like that journey is continuing and once again is being led by young people. But this time they don't seem to be so alone. There will be pushback, but activist Carolyn Johnson says the courage of John Lewis will be there as an example to follow. But when he laid his body on the line for us, it reminds us that it's really that important. So yeah, and you gotta be willing to do that. I'm not sure if this generation's ready to do that, but it might, it might, you might need to. In Oakland, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Senator Kamala Harris had this to say, John Lewis was an icon who fought with every ounce of his being to advance the cause of civil rights for all Americans. I'm devastated for his family, friends, staff, and all those whose lives he touched. Buildings across Washington, D.C., including the U.S. Capitol and the White House, lowered their flags to half-staff today in honor of the civil rights icon. And San Francisco City Hall will be lit up in red, white, and blue tonight in Lewis's honor. Flags have also been lowered to half-staff across the city.